Hey, this is Matt from Capital Design Works. Just gonna do a quick rundown today on how to disassemble poker machine bases. Um, if you're lucky enough to have bases with the Capital sticker here, you can rest assured that your bases are modular and you can pull them apart and move them however you like, reconfigure your room. Um, it's just the like four bolts that hold the bases together. And if you come, up, come and have a look over here, On the, the end of the poker machine base here, we've got a 25 mil MDF side. Uh, it's nice and sturdy to hold the weight of the poker machine. And the base is bolted together through these four holes here. It doesn't matter which poker machine base you've got. It could be this style here, the Arizona or any other style. They all bolt together the same way. Uh, so what we have is a 7 16th drill tip. And that just goes into a drill. On the poker machine base, this base has got pop faces, so the faces, the faces just pop off the base. Same on both bases. This base has also got LED lighting, the fantasy light under the footrest here, which has got these, these cables. So if you've got fantasy lights, you need to disconnect the lights before disconnecting the bases. So if I just reach under the base here, I've got two cables together. We just pull them apart and then have the leads hanging down the bottom here so they're pulled apart. Next thing we have to do is remove the four bolts holding the base together. So with your 7 16th bit, you have a bolt here. There's another one here. One at the top of the back. Now it's important that top one at the back goes in there because that holds the front of the base together. And another one at the top. That's four bases and that's all you need to do to pull your bases apart. They should just pull apart and your bases are separated. Now to put the bases back together, it's just the same process in reverse. Yeah, when you put your bases together, make sure your LED light is not hanging out the side. So they're both nice clean sides. We've got our super line tongues in the side here. Bases go back together, put the bolt in. bases bolted back together. Now, if you're gonna make your bases sit freestanding without being in a bank, you need to make sure that you put angle brackets on the side, because the machine's 150 kilos, and they're top heavy. So if you're gonna leave a base by, itse so, uh, by itself, always have an angle bracket in front and back on both sides. If you've got your bases in a full bank, it doesn't matter. They can, they're stable enough, but if it's just one base, 600 wide, 600 deep, with a machine on top, always make sure you put a bracket on there. Thanks.